Hello friends, so in this particular video tutorial, we are going to discuss what fuzzy relations are. Uh, before actually moving to fuzzy relation, we should basically know what normal relation or crisp relations are. So let me discuss them first. Uh, suppose we have A and B, two crisp sets. These are not fuzzy sets, these are crisp sets. Then in that case, how we are going to calculate or how we are going to find what the Cartesian product is. So generally the Cartesian product is de uh, denoted as A cross B. It is collection of order pairs such that A cross B will be uh, say uh, uh, A comma B where A belongs to set A and B belongs to set B. That means say we have um, uh, suppose A is a set, a crisp set that is having two elements one and two. Another crisp set we have B that is having three and four. In that case the mapping that we will get is one, three, one, four, two, three, two, four. Right. So all elements of A means A1, 2 and all elements of B means 3, 4. You will get a mapping, a relation between 1, 3, 1, 4, 2, 3, 2, 4. And in that way, you will represent it in Cartesian product. So this particular mapping generally mentioned is called a relation. Let's see an example in this case. Consider we have two crisp sets A and B. A is having some values like 1, 2, 3, 4. B is having some value like 3, 5, 7. In that case, the Cartesian product will be 1, 3, 1, 5, 1, 7, 2, 3, 2, 5, 2, 7, 3, 3, 3, 5, 3, 7, 4, 3, 4, 5, 4, 7, and so on. Right? So in that case, all element of A with a relation, with a mapping with all element of B. Like, so how we are going to define the relation in that case, say we are going to define the relation in this case is A comma B, where uh, B uh, is equals to A plus 1. That is A plus 1 basically means key, uh, uh, if A is some, having some value like 2, in that case B will be 3. So in specific uh, relation A cross B, uh, where we are seeing this, okay, we are seeing it at 2 comma 3 and 4 comma 5. Right. So R is equals to 2 comma 3 is one relation and 4 comma 5 is another that is satisfying this relation because if A is 2, then 2 plus 1 is 3, that is B. Okay. So 2, 3 is satisfying this. The same way 4, 5, 4 is A, 5 is B. So that is satisfying this case. Okay. So how we can represent it in the relation R? In that case, this is the matrix and we are having true value at 2 comma 3, so it is 1 and 4 comma 5, so it is 1. So in, this in these two cases, we are having value 1, otherwise we are having 0. The same way, if we are going to represent, that was about fuzzy re uh, normal relation. In this case, say we are going to represent fuzzy relations. So fuzzy relations, ke, uh, in, th in that case, we are having a specific scenario here. Say we have X that is representing different diseases and Y that is representing different symptoms of those diseases. So in that case, we can represent them in a matrix form and a relation between them so that we can easily identify, we can diagnose different diseases if we are uh, aware about their symptoms. Right. So how we are going to define fuzzy Cartesian product? So, in generally case, we are saying A is a fuzzy set, B is another fuzzy set, then R will be A cross B, that is subset of X and Y. What is X and Y? These are the universe of discourse that is having some membership value that where X belongs to the set X and Y belongs to the set Y. So, R in this case is having some membership function. So, we, how we are going to calculate it is we will just consider the membership value of that specific relation, that specific uh, set basically. Say A is a set in that case, it is having element A1, A2 and A3. Then their membership values are 0 0.2, 0 0.7 and 0 0.4. Same B is another set that is having two elements B1 and B2. B is having some membership value 0 0.5 and B2 is having membership value 0 0.6. In that case, relation R will be A cross B. That is basically the Cartesian product. How we are going to cal calculate the Cartesian product in that case? So we are representing it like 0 0.2, 0 0.5. Okay. And then point, uh, say, uh, here we are, what we are getting basically is the minimum value of uh, the two that we are representing by this one, that uh, whenever we are going to calculate the relation, we will get the minimum value of the membership values of two different sets. So 0 0.2 and 0 0.5, what is the minimum value? 0 0.2. Then 0 0.2 and 0 0.6, minimum value is 0 0.2. 0 0.7 and 0 0.5, minimum value is 0 0.5. 0 0.4 and 0 0.5, minimum value is 0 0.4. 0 0.7 and 0 0.6, 0 0.6. 0 0.4 and 0 0.6, 0 0.4. So, we are getting the minimum value and then representing it like a matrix as we usually do with the crisp sets. Okay. Now, these were the fuzzy relations. So, there must be some operations that we can perform with fuzzy relations. The different operations that we can perform with fuzzy relations are union, intersection and complement. How we are going to calculate union? By finding the max of their membership values. How we are going to calculate intersection? By finding the minimum of their membership values and complement one minus the membership, uh, the specific value of the membership values. 
right so if we see an example of union r1 is one matrix r2 is another uh, matrix so we can say r1 is one relation r2 is another relation we want to perform union between these two relations so for union what we need is the max value max is where 0 0.0 0.4 0.4 0.4 0.1 0.2 0.2 0.8 0.1 0.8 0.8 so whatever the maximum value we are having between two relations and mapping with individual elements the maximum value that we are getting as a membership value that we are putting in another matrix and that is the union of that one in other side when we are going to calculate the intersection we will get the minimum value that is the reverse of say uh, union so 0 0.0 and 0 0.4 we have we definitely had minimum 0.0, .0 then 0 0.0 0 0.5 minimum 0 0.0 0 0.1.5 minimum uh, 0.1 and, and so on uh, we are getting whatever the minimum value that we are representing in a matrix form and that is that we are getting the intersection for complement you can find it by yourself but that is 1 minus the value of membership value of r2 so 1 minus 0.4 is 0.6 1 minus 0.5 is 0.5 1 minus 0.2 is 0.8 1 minus 0.1 is say 0.9 so in that case we will get the value of all the elements and then we'll represent another matrix in that case and that will be the complement of that one so guys this is enough for this video lecture in this we have discussed what uh, crisp uh, relations are and then what fuzzy relations are and then different operations like union intersections and complement in uh, fuzzy relations so in later on videos we will discuss some other concept of fuzzy relations so on till then please like and subscribe thank you very much